Good morning and welcome back to another video. I'm in the beautiful Lake District. I returned just four days ago from the Tour de Mont Blanc, which was an epic thing. Hopefully that has been on my channel by now. Uh, yeah, that was a really good challenge. Four or five days later, I've got my next challenge already. And I'm here at the Apex Everest Challenge event. So this is an event based in the Lake District from Thirlmere, just behind. I camped last night with my team, which I'll come back to. We've got to ascend as a team Helvellyn on a circular route 9.2 times in 48 hours and that accumulates the height of Everest that's why it's called the Apex Everest Challenge so I won't be doing this alone it is an individual and a team event and we decided to do it as a team so the team I put together is three other lads that you're going to know very very well Dave Solo Sommeteer we've got Andy from Backpacking UK who you saw me do the on with last year and we're doing it again in November and also we've got Bushman and Blue. Basically two go up the mountain. When they come down, the next two go up. Bushman wants to get the uh, Strava King of the Hill. <laughs> so he's going up with Andy on the first one. So they're going to do the quick 200 metre random little bit of the ascent. And then they're going to do the first lap. When they come back, me and Dave are going to go up. We got here last night. There's a, an event HQ. We had a bit of a presentation. We had a couple of drinks and we had some food. All foods provided for this one, nutrition. Really, really, really well organized. I'll show you a little bit around it. I brought the uh, Southern Cross 2. You've got Dave in his uh, Geomid. Got Andy in his Pioneer Compact 2. And Bushman is in his van. Cop out. <laughs> we're not gonna be competing against each other, but we are gonna take, um, we're gonna take turns so we all get to ascend with each other as well. So we get to mix it up. But we're here to just enjoy it, have a bit of a laugh. And, uh, and yeah, should be fun. So let me take you to the start. All food provided this morning. Had some porridge with honey and sausage, bacon and egg balm. Absolutely perfect. There's a coffee machine here. There's pizza coming later. Yeah, it's fantastic. So what I'm going to do, let's head over to the start and let's go and find the lads. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Yeah, here he is, just like last year. I'm not going to let Andy down this year. No, uh, <laughs> no cramp this year. We're going to be well hydrated. If you wonder why I'm dressed like this, I'm not in the first wave. So Andy's in the first wave with the with the whip it. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, we've got this team event. You know, let's let's go up together, stick together. And uh, <laughs> and I was like, I'm going for King of the Hill. He said, Andy won't be. Andy will only be about half an hour behind me. <laughs> yeah. And then come back. Yeah. So he's going to be. Uh, he wants to get up and give it a bit of a run. I think our tactic is to walk up, run on the flats and run down. Andy, you're going to have to, have to go. <laughs> Andy, you're bringing it in for the team, I don't know where he is. He's going to have to catch up. So look, we're all here, Bushman not even turned up. Not even turned, yeah. Not even turned up for the start. <laughs> Final reminder, guys, please make sure that your participant numbers are visible so we can scan the markers to activate the trackers. Five, four, three, two, one. Go on, Andy. <laughs> so here they are going off in waves. We're in wave one. No sign of, no sign of Al. Well, Andy's going to start off. So this is the first 200 meters he's got to do of ascent. And then they're going to come down, and then they're going to go on the on the uh, on their first main ascent. Second wave's going now, so you have to jump in this and catch up. Here's here is a pro. <laughs> Can I just give you my hat? Yeah, of course. Catch Andy up. <laughs> We're expecting your first back. See, everybody else has got to pace themselves because a lot of people are doing individuals, but we don't really have to do that. Let's go and see him off. Me and Dave get to chill now for probably a few hours or however long they're going to take. But basically their first ascent, if I just turn the camera around now, you can see them in the distance. So Andy will be up there somewhere, hopefully. So it's uh, straight up from the start. However, I've lost my teammate already. The wolf has left the pack. But I think uh, Al might be giving us a bit of a head start. Already I've got spectacular views of the fells. It's going to be an absolute belting day today, there's no doubt about that. But it is fresh start, that's for sure. Just got a nice little bit of a 
a rest now while we wait for the other guys. It's a, it's a little bit frustrating, to be honest, not to be going out in the first group. We're going to have quite a long wait now, me and Dave, but still be good. We'll make sure we're ready for when Al gets down. So we've got to wait for Al and Andy to come back down. I think Al will be down first. And then we'll head, we'll head back up. So this route takes us from the Thirlmere side of the lakes. It's 200 metres up and down. And then the actual route takes us along the wall, goes up to the top of Helvellyn, and then it comes out and back to the Cairn. And then we go um, down and back up to Whiteside and come round and we end up coming round and it's like a long way down the road. It's about, it's about a mile or two as a straight run. Back to the starting point, you've got to pass a start every time. And then obviously the accumulation over the 48 hours will be the height of Everest. Our intention though is only to run in the day. Um, maybe maybe into the evening, maybe eight, nine, ten o'clock, but we're not going to be running through the night. I don't think we'll need to. Right, it's first little leg done, the point two's done. Now for the good stuff. Nine reps of Helvellyn. Here we go. <laughs> Right, so we've just been watching them come down. There's not many come down, but if you look here, who's this person at the front here? Who's over to, he's starting the third wave and he's at the front of the park. There he is, Al, head down, That's mooching cool. along. <laughs> yeah. Now these other couple of people there will have been in the first group. I can't remember what Andy was wearing. Don't think any of those are Andy, maybe. Green gloves, but Andy will be close by. Somewhere around there. There's not many coming down yet. First mini ascent done. First flat bit done. Which is quite overgrown and technical. And now on for the really steep ascent. Right, that's the first Helvellyn summit of the day. It's been hiking for two hours, but that first little ascent that point two was flipping hard on freezing cold legs i just felt all my muscles stretching oh back up we go back up we go so as you all saw before al set off late he set off in the third wave and he'd already set off but al being al wanted to push himself for the first one he's absolutely smashed it not that it's, we're racing, but Al is in first place. So Al's overtaken everybody. He said he's on the flat. He just rang me to say he's just a couple of minutes off. It's gonna be good to see him come across the finish line. He's absolutely hammered it. So let's get the camera around and keep a lookout for him. We should be coming over here imminently. Well ahead of everyone, that's our Al. We can't go yet, we're waiting for Andy, but I think we're gonna be as quick as Al. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. well done. We have done it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely smashed it. Well done. <laughs> Legs are tired. I was just worried about my ankles. That's the only thing because I have got glass ankles. But I managed. I'm here. And now I can rest and be with <laughs> yeah. you guys. Next so we've got to wait for Andy to come down now and then me and Dave can head up, but he's absolutely caned it. But considering you set off in the third wave and we saw you overtaking yeah, everyone. Oh. bottom of here, the last couple, a bit worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well and done. I just kept like a 60% pace thought where I didn't really punch it. You can get yourself crossed off on here, get yourself ticked off yeah. and I, I want it. Here's a full board there, no names. Where's the pen? Oh, he's there. Oh, he's done it. You know you get to do it, look. Oh, Ali. So here's our team here, our first descent. There he is. Boom. <laughs> we have it. So just got to wait. One there. Just got to wait for Andy. Andy's at the on, around White Side now, and he's got to come down, and then we'll head off. How awesome is that? He's done so so well. Do you know what the funniest thing about all this? <laughs> the reason Al pushed it on that first one, he wanted to get king of the hill, and he forgot to start his Strava. So we might have to do it again. When Andy comes down, that counts as our first up and down. And on that first leg too, you had that extra 200 meters and that was a bit of a killer ascent. So brilliant. Next is me and Dave. I do want to run on the downs, I must admit. We know that Dave wants to take it a little bit more steady. The way we're going to kind of do it is when we hike with Dave, we're just going to take it a little bit easier. We don't need to kill it. And then, you know, when it's me and Al or me and Andy or Andy and Al, we'll push and we'll do uh, we'll do we'll do far more running and that'll just help we can make the time up on those and then when we go with dave we can take it just that little bit easier 
Dave's fit as a butcher's dog, you know, he wants to protect his ankles a little bit and he's going to hike up in boots so we can take it that little bit easier. Thankfully, the sun is now hitting my tent. Um, it's finally coming out and blue sky. It's going to be nice today. So I've decided I'm going to go pretty lightweight on this one. I'm going to get rid of this layer now. Now it's warming up. And let's get some lighter gear on. Dave's just getting ready to go behind me. We're just tracking Andy online. We can see where he is. He's still got a little bit to go yet, but he's doing really well. Sunglasses on, all ready to go. I've ditched the orange for now. Still have got the, still on brand, but um, I've got this really thin windproof jacket on because the sun's coming up now, but when we get on the hill, we're in the shade. So it'll just take a little bit of the chill off. And then when we start climbing, we'll, we'll whip this off and just go down to the to the t-shirt. Running number in place, ready to go. I've got one pole on my back here, which I will be deploying very, very quickly. And I think I've left me the one on the start line. You probably can't make them out on here, but I can see two lads just, just over the wall there. Those two lads are basically the next lads due down. So it just shows how far Al was ahead. Absolute machine. He gets to have a nice rest now though. There's some ice pods to rest in to recover. He probably have a little chill in his van. Right, coming in, that's it. That's the first lap done. Hey, yo! He's been here about two hours. Andy's coming back now. Come on, Andy, run into the right through. Well done. Well done, that's smashed it. Technical, that is. How was it? Oh, it's more, it's more technical than I was expecting. It's flipping hot as well. You don't need just shorts and t-shirt, without a doubt. 2.59, my You've done pretty well, mate. Tell Three you. hours. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's longer than a four. I think I did about 14k or something. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First bit of hardest though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're tough that, that little point two bit that we did, that was hard. Yeah. Are you guys ready then? Ready to go. Five, four, three, <laughs> Have it. two, one. Woo. one. All right, let's go. We'll run this first bit, then what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What I've realised straight away is I need to tuck my watch away, my phone away, because it's going to annoy me in my pocket. But now it's me and Dave, two serious guys. <laughs> we'll do, hold a good account of ourselves and let's see, uh, let's see how we get on. We'll get on the straight and show you what the path's like. So we're just climbing out this first section and then we're going to be making our way along the wall for a couple of miles before we head up. There's a vent HQ behind. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> just following these little markers, you can probably see just stuck in the ground. The sun is shining, which is nice. A little bit boggy underfoot. And when we get to the bottom of this climb, I'm just going to take this jacket off. It's really warm now. Dave's just behind. Like I said before, we're taking it a little bit easier. Going to let Dave go at his pace. But all the time, just pushing him, just pushing a little bit. Just to keep, keep him focused on pushing forwards. So this is where I think we start our ascent, which zigzags up here. I came up here in the snow. And then basically we're going on to the top of this uh, to the summit of Hellbell in. Then we come back on ourselves and head over to Whiteside. Quick change, all ready for it, ready for the climb. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right. Yeah, it's a really consistent climb this. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's beautiful because the great thing about this, well, good or bad, is you can see where you're going. We're going right to the top up there. Brown Grove Crags is our next target, I think it is. On the corner somewhere up there. Yeah. <laughs> See where we've come already. It's just up and up and up this one, but if you haven't done this route to Helvellyn, it's a lovely route. It avoids striding edge on the other side if you don't like the edges. And I've got a couple of videos on my channel coming up this way as well. Yeah, lovely route. Right, so me and Dave have just cracked on up that first section. We're at about 780, 790 metres now, past Brown Grove Crags. What a stunning view behind. There's absolutely not a breath of wind, which is nice, isn't it? 
see everything, everything's out. Yeah. So, uh, All the views, so still. We did hear on the forecast of some winds. I think it's on Sunday. Oh no, Saturday. Yeah. Or maybe early hours Sunday, so. But right now, it's a real pleasure to get up here. But we've just been very consistent coming up. Not really stopped. And very soon it does level out a touch on our way up to Helvellyn. Right, so me and Dave on top for our, our ascent. So let's touch that trig together so we've got it out of the way. Go on to the next one. Boom. Boom. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a bit nippy out here. Look at that. Red tarn, cat's tie cam, Sw um, striding edge, beautiful swirl edge down here. And in the distance, we're going to go over to over Lower Man and then to Whiteside. Now this, we've got a little dip coming down, a little bit of a climb to Whiteside. That is definitely rain on those tops. Question is, and actually, wind in our faces, so it is coming this way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I've done well on that first one. I feel good. Are you feeling good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dare I say, I know it's the first one, but easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think... I, th I didn't know how I'd be after the uh, the height last week. Oh, we stick your lens here. But yeah, my legs feeling good. I feel really accustomed to it, so that's all good. Celebrating the summer. <laughs> Cheat himself with the Snickers. We'll pick up a little bit, push a little bit on the downs. <laughs> that's taken us one hour forty-five minutes. And it certainly won't. Shouldn't be one hour forty-five down, really, should it? On the downhill. If we can get down in. 45 to 50 minutes would be amazing, but I'm not too sure how achievable that is. <laughs> She's on top of Lower Man, and then we've got a bit of a tricky descent before heading over to Whiteside. And right in the middle, that's our little marker down there. A little bit of a rundown. I'll wait for Dave at the bottom. Yeah, sometimes it helps running down rather than jarring your legs, trying to stop yourself. Just come down like a skier using your poles, zigzagging. So the thing is, when I get down from here, I've got to come straight back up again with Dave or, sorry, with uh, Andy or Al. I've got a double, I've got a double on here. Dave's resting when he gets down from here, so ideally i could do with getting down before dave so i get five minutes have a quick toilet break get some electrolytes i forgot to top this one up with electrolytes so get some electrolytes get a little snack and then once dave comes down the next two can head up it's probably gonna be me and al i imagine because he got down first i'm feeling really really strong i'm definitely not running on the uphills but that was pretty good on the way up just stayed steady the target is to try and do five today or maybe four before tea one after but five done today it only leaves us four tomorrow and then we don't have to run through the night which would be uh which be a little brucey bonus so there he is all in red and watch how quick he gets down three two one zoom here he is <laughs> all good it's cold isn't it yeah nippy. yeah so we'll go and have a look at what's going on at the wigwam and then uh <laughs> then head up to the top so me and dave top of white side we're all steamed up, I do apologise, I'll sort the camera out when we go down. As you say, it's all downhill from here, hopefully just uh, <laughs> physically, not mentally. But yeah, we've got a long, long stretch coming down now, which is a pleasure to see. And we're still avoiding the rain, although we can see it, just not far ahead, a little bit misty. Yeah. Dave was saying there, we'll keep our poles out down here and then we can have a little jog on the, the flat bits. I'm just protecting my knees a touch because I've got a feeling I've got to come straight back up again. <laughs> got to pace yourself. That's why I mean, I, I, want to, I want to come up with all the guys, but I always dread the ascents with Al. <laughs> He's too quick, too extreme. Yeah, he had a big rock in his bag. <laughs> Right, me and Dave doing our duty on the way down. We've just, uh, we've just found a banana flavoured or scented toilet paper. We're finding pits of someone's bags. Brand, brand new socks. Yeah, someone's bags open. So look at this on my chest. I've got, we've just picked up socks, bar, um, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to uh, keep our eye out on the way down. Someone's bags obviously clearly opened and they've dropped all the things. 
So if it wasn't hard enough, we're now carrying extra weight. <laughs> it's a bit boggy here as well as we get across these tops. But we keep going, we keep going. So Dave and I are just running right, running down now. What we can on the flat on the downhills. Make up a little bit of time. Right, we've just agreed I'm pushing on for this next section. Not going too quick here because it's so slippy through all the ferns. But I need to get back to the end so I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a rest before Dave comes down before I have to head back up again. Getting back to the start now. <sighs> Get in there, come on. <laughs> finish line in 110 meters. 100 meters for the finish. Feeling good though, but I don't know about another ascent straight after this. Might need a rest. There we go. Yeah, well done. Boom. Awesome. We, stick, we stuck together until that last section. I said yeah. to Dave, I'll just run down. Good so, on, yeah, yeah good feeling running. strong. All good. Go check your name off, mate. So that's how long it was. Two hours 43. It's not bad considering we were steady up, steady pace, and then only a little ran that last bit. So this, first one, Helvellyn. Second one we've reached, Mount Griggs, 2,313. Third, so I can't even read, 17. Boom. Brilliant. Honestly, Brilliant. he's been itching. I know, hey, I can... you. Oh, did you? Yeah, question though, because um, are you alright to go yeah. again now? Yeah. Here he is, yay! Oh. Woo! I love it! Well done, mate. Come and cross yourself off here. Awesome. Oh. Dave, well done, mate. <laughs> he just, he just, he just awesome. blanked me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Two minutes, back up again with this beast. It's gonna be a tough leg, this one. But then I get two legs rest. We're all doing a double. I'm the first one to do it. Awful. Lots of pressure to keep up to Al as well. And I won't. Stop. Keep hydrated. Electrolytes, electrolytes, baby. It's a good slog, this, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we are into leg three now, and we are probably about a quarter of the way up the climb, which is the steep part from Swirls Car Park. And because we're fairly quick, me and Chris, we are slowly catching people up. But bearing in mind, a lot of these people are doing nine full times up here. And we're only doing five, so <laughs> more respect for these guys. <laughs> slowly, slowly catch a monkey. Here he is. I'll tell you what though, it does make a hell of a difference, the fact that I've had a rest. Yeah. You know, you're two in a row now, and uh, I feel pretty sort of sprightly still, just by having sort of three or four hours sat there. I mean, I go with massage gun, I had them sort oh. of uh, compression trousers on. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I feel good, but it's uh, nice to sort of continue this up into the mountains and overtaking a few people that are doing the, the full lot. Makes you feel good overtaking people, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice <laughs> for me because I passed them on the way down. All right. So I know that these are on the second and I'm on my second, but obviously yes. as a team we're one ahead. Yeah. Which is good. Because of you. You and Andy. Because of me. Oh yeah, smashing that first one. <sighs> Strong and steady pace. <sighs> this. Oh, I'm finding it tough this time round. Back to back. It's not where it's at. <laughs> it's hard going with the old Al. He's very good on the hills. Just taking a little breather. Is where I was with Dave earlier on. Whew. Let's do this. I've just gone past the point where when I come back down in a minute I'll split off to go back over lower man again. 
Oh, I told Al to run on. He's just cresting there at the top. See his orange shorts right in the distance. Less pressure on me to keep up, but it's certainly challenging doing a double. You know, full kudos to all the guys doing nine, nine back to back. Screw that. Battle's rested his legs, he's had his leg, legs in the knees bleeding, things that squeeze him to recover. Oh, I literally got to the bottom, I had a piece of quiche next to a can of Tenzing, filled up my water and set off, but I've already drank all my water, so I'm flying a little bit and I'm freezing. So I'm going to get to the top of it and I might see what little coat I've got in my bag just to take the wind off. All right, let's keep going. Go on, Al. Have it. Head down the grass. This is really good running. Yeah, will do. Good luck. Oh right, we're at the top of Hell Hellin again. <sighs> Number two, personally, for me. Two back to back. <sighs> yeah, now straight back down. No messing. I do want a jacket on, but I'm going to have to get out of this... Uh, out of this wind first. I'll end up losing my jacket. But I think what Al said, get down the grass, which you can see, it's a little bit soft on your feet. I've got a feeling that's Al on top of that hill already. Jesus. Oh, that is much better. I've got some gloves on. Put this over my head for now, just to take the wind off. Miles time, miles better. Back at low man. And now, with a pretty steep descent, over to the next one. Yeah, it's a bit of a slog coming down this, bit tricky footing. So, poles out. <sighs> Let's get down this. Right, I'm pleased to say I've got down that craggy bit. It's not good that, it doesn't look like much, but oh, it's not great on your legs coming down. And now we've got the nice grassy hill. So I'll make up a little bit of time here, just have a little jog down. I'll show you the ground that I'm running on. And you, oh, I just have broke my neck. <laughs> yeah. So what I was going to say is, <laughs> pay bleeding attention where you're running, stop looking at the camera. I found it tougher for this one, certainly on the uphill. Maybe it's quicker, I don't know, me and Dave seem to make good ground, but we'll see. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. Again, leave a comment below if you like it. Leave a comment for your YouTubers as well, because I don't know if the other lads are putting a video out, so I said I'd, I'd take like take the reins and put the video out for us all. Some some people have messaged me saying, oh, I wonder who's the fittest out of you lot. Without a shadow of doubt, it's Al. I'd say second is probably Andy. Third, it's a difficult one. I know I'm quite fit, but I don't train. And Dave goes to the gym all the time and he's the older guy. Depends what your class is fitness. I feel really good on the hills. But the thing about this is, it's all about community. If you're interested in doing an event like this, I can honestly say it's really well organised. It's a good cost to sign up. Again, you can do it as part of a team to split it a little bit, which I'd probably recommend. So you're only kind of doing half as much. And it's more fun because you get to, you know, get to bond with other people. But your food's provided for the whole thing. There's breakfast, lunch, dinner. When you get to the end, there's energy bars, there's um, electrolytes, there's bits of sandwiches. There's actually sandwiches through the night as well. So after midnight, I think you, you can pick up, still pick up sandwiches and food till three in the morning, things like that. So it's really, really well catered for. There's water on site, there's all sorts of drinks. People here who do massage, you can get coffee, but there's a proper coffee van here. That's extras. And there's a pizza van coming tonight as well. I mean, food's provided, and I'll just have the food that's provided here because it was fantastic last night. Right, I'm going to come off the camera now. I've waffled enough. Let's make some ground. There's some people with a red top on down there. Oh, miles away, but let's see if I can catch, catch them before the end. And back to the section where left is up and this is back down. So this is where we'll start to see people coming up and down as well. Listen, it's taken me plenty of time, but those people are spotted in the distance with a pinky orange on. They're just around the next corner. <laughs> Let's overtake them. You all right, lads? Mm. 100 metres to the finish again. Can't wait to have sit down and I need lots of water and electrolytes. Cheers. Yep. Woo, here's Andy. Here he is. Well done, Chris. 
Oh, 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 how long have you been here? A while. Uh, half an hour maybe. Two hours 52. So I don't know if I stopped it exactly, but I think it was two hours 45 before, so it's not bad. Similar ish pace. To say you were cramping up and stuff on work, yeah. you haven't done bad, have you? So on the way up that time with you, I stopped quite a few times. Me and, Aunt, me and uh, Dave the first time didn't stop, but I needed it. Ran where possible coming down as well, but. You've done all right, mate. You really have. You're not that far behind. <laughs> So did you get the king of the hill? Oh, there we go. Oh, by 15 seconds, is it? Yeah, like 17 that. seconds, yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I've got my calm. <laughs> and you know what? He's had to do it twice to achieve that because he forgot. <laughs> he didn't track the first one. That's that's brilliant. The first one would have been faster, so I'm a bit gutted about that. But anyway, yeah, still I've got, got it, so I'm happy. King of the hill. <laughs> All right, so here we are. I'm starting my second ascent. And the team's fourth ascent. Been lucky with the weather so far. It doesn't get any easier though, that's for sure. So, last ascent was with Al. This ascent was with Dave, who's absolutely motoring, hence being out of breath. But our aim is to get this fourth ascent done before it gets dark. It doesn't get any easier, that's for sure. So that's the second summit for me and Dave, a fourth summit for the team. So now get back before dark. We're hoping for a nice bit of lasagna. I think that's on the menu tonight. It's gonna be good. Just hope we've got a bit of garlic bread as well. It's hard work this uh, climbing Elvellon, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so me and I'll just having a bit of food now. I've got some pasta, a little bit of chilli, I think, with some cheese. And if you look at these, it's this machine. It's free to use this. Basically, it squeezes from your toes. It inflates all the way up your legs. And basically what it's doing is, when it's creating pressure, it's drawing blood to that area. So it's replacing your lactic acid with, um, you know, good blood. And it's, yeah, it's just really, really good for your legs. So we're doing 20 minutes on here with a little bit of food. And we've probably got, two hours 45 ish to three hours i think exactly so we are just gonna sit here chill <laughs> live like kings eh? <laughs> yeah can't beat it just a shame we can't have a beer <laughs> oh mate come on, oh, come on. <laughs> just mentioning that <laughs> little cheeky beer now when the lads come down come on you, you two get back up we've sent you for a double <laughs> got the tps where we were last night all food in there some hot drinks We've got the cold water tubs on there, so I might give that a go as well. I need to do that for Kay. And uh, yeah, really, really good setup. Tonight's meal, chicken casserole with mashed potato. <laughs> and I am going to sit inside and eat it, but I'm just looking up here because the lads are somewhere along there now. They're not too far off from getting back. Here's another one of them. <laughs> Andy, better be going, Andy better be going back up. <laughs> You better do. Because yeah. otherwise, otherwise I'm stuck with this bug again. <laughs> Get them legs going. Here they are. Woo! Get in. Well done. How was that? <laughs> yeah. Hard work, eh? Well done, Andy. Well done. How do you find that? Yeah. Cold up there, isn't it? It's only right at, right at the top. That is yeah, get yourself crossed off on here. Yeah, really. It's fine. As soon as it started coming off, low man, these fucking went instantly. So me and now we're going to go straight back up, which will be my third ascent and the team's fifth. So by the end of this, and it will be pitch black at the summit and a pitch black descent. So let me give you a little update as to what's happening. We've done four ascents between us as a team on the first day. 
and we've just had something to eat chicken casserole with some mashed potato which was gorgeous me and Al just had a lovely chill and then when we came down Andy and Dave absolutely smashed it we've just been having a little chat of what's going to happen next so Andy and Al they haven't gone up together yet so they've gone up now they're taking on the evening one and I'm going to chill with Dave. Dave's struggling with his knee a little bit on the downhills. So he's just booked in for a massage now. I don't know if you can see, just in there behind me. It's a paid one, that. It's £15. So he's just booked in for a little massage. I might even have one myself. Why not on my legs? And then we're going to rest tonight. Um, and we've got, we'll have done five by the end of the evening. We'll obviously wait up for the lads as well. So in the morning, first thing, me and Dave are going to go up together again. We said we'll take it easy because of his knee. We'll get to the top. He's all right on the ups and we'll just take our time coming down. Now, the, way, the weather's not going to be great tomorrow. I have not really checked it, but some people are saying, oh, there's a, quite a bit of rain. So it's going to affect things. It's going to be obviously more hard work. Very, very slippy. I'm really enjoying it. I have to say, what a great bunch of lads. Andy from the OM last year, we spent quite a bit of time together. Genuine lad, really, really nice. Again, I'll leave the channels below. You all know them anyway, but go and subscribe to them if you're not already. Uh, they all make very good content. If you like mine, you like theirs, you know, they've been around a lot longer than me, but honestly, really genuine lads. And the best thing about this is we're all solo hikers. You know, we've got a solo summit here. We've got Bushman, who's always up with his dog, and he does his likes, his big challenges. Andy, he has friends on his channel, but he's he's a little bit of a solo guy as well. And I'm definitely, you know, a solo hiker. So for us all to come together and do this together is great. And at the end of the day, that's what you remember at the end of this. It's it's your relationships that you form, your conversations you have. We're not going to remember individual segments. We'll remember doing this challenge. But we've all just sat down there and just said, this is, this has been brilliant. You've got to take yourself out of your comfort zones meet new people this event is it's, it's first time it's ever been put on and they're hoping to do it well they will be doing it again next year and they'll be scaling things up and they've got loads and loads of plans they've spoke to us quite a lot about it it's expensive but for what you get while you're here it's honestly brilliant you know if you go and do a lot of events you might pay 80 quid for a bit of an event this is quite a little bit more money and god knows what it'll be next year but i'm just telling you We've thoroughly enjoyed it, but it is hard work. You might think something like this, 9.2 times, I can't do that. People who've had um, sort of heart conditions and, oh, a lot worse. One guy's lost 75% of his pelvis and struggled to walk. There's, there's all sorts of stories. And the whole idea with this is, yes, if you want to, you can have a bit of a challenging aspect. I want to see how quick I can do it. But it's not about that. It's about community. It's about doing what is your Everest, you know, what can you achieve? Just spoke to somebody in there, a girl, she's, she's done one today. And for her, that's that's amazing. She did it with a boyfriend and our boyfriend's gone back up. I love that. And as I said, you know, don't you know, don't count just your one, you know, count what you've done together. It's all about achieving what you didn't think you could achieve, whether you do one, two, three, four. And I will go back to the screen tomorrow and I'll show you how they've done it. So for every ascent that you do, it's a, it's the name of a mountain. So you can say, oh, you know, I got as high as Kilimanjaro or I got as high as mount olympus there's all sorts of different things it, it's fantastic i've waffled enough i'm gonna go and have a little cheeky massage i have paid me 15 pounds um and it'll again with me and dave can just have a nice chat tonight i'm not gonna film it because it, you know it's just this is where you uh you get to know people well so dave's in there i've just told him to split his calves <laughs> let me show you so you can see he's at the back down there so let me have my massage now and i'll uh, check in me later <laughs> how, how is it, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> what are those tears in your eyes? <laughs> got a very tender spot here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, leave it alone. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing now. But, in on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm laughing now, but I'm next. My legs are awful. The legs in my back are dreadful. <laughs> right, let's let's leave him to enjoy, <laughs> get through. <laughs> This one looks good in a video. <laughs> oh my god. Killing me. I won't be able to walk tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Is that a knot there then? Yeah. A bit there. Yeah. Can you feel oh. it? Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see how the drops go. Oh god, not going to lie, this is ridiculous. Third summit done. Oh god, I'm feeling it. This is Baltic gale force 
crosswind. My stomach stinks, somersaults. Now the challenge is on. This is, this is a proper challenge. Here we're coming in, completion of our third ascent, fifth for the team. That was so hard, so hard. Just this Baltic side wind, really, really hard. So here we are. It's supposed to be a challenge, and after that third descent, it definitely was. But we're here. Good morning, welcome to our day two of the Apex Everest Challenge. As you saw last night on the video, I didn't do too much video, but Andy and Dave got down last night, that's our five. They got down about half past 10. And then we had a good night's sleep last night. It was, we had rain, we had wind, but it was warm. It was so cold the first night with ice, but last night it was great. No real condensation or anything, so good. Me and Dave got up early this morning, six o'clock. We've had some bacon, egg and sausage butties, again, all laid on. We've had some porridge. We've had a bit of a chill, sit down, and now it's about quarter past seven and we're about to um, about to head off. Now, the routes changed today. Through the night, I think there was a couple of accidents. It's very slippy, the weather's not good, it's very windy up there. So today they've changed the route. If you know Sticks Pass, very, very steep up. It's almost a scramble. So we've got to go up all the way to the top of Sticks Pass where you turn right to go to Rays or left to go to Sky Barrow Dodd. We've got to get to that point, come down all the way to the bottom, and that counts as half. <laughs> so we've got to do that twice. Obviously the way we were going before was a long, long descent. And obviously the descent's not counting towards, towards the challenge. You've still got to do it. So this one is just brutal up, brutal down, brutal up, brutal down. It's less mileage. You're not going as high, but yeah, it's a lot steeper. So we're going to see how Dave does. He's been struggling with his knee a little bit, but seems okay this morning. You you take it easy, lads. Right. <laughs> you all right there? <laughs> Go on, we'll take one for the team then. <laughs> see you later. You get yourself a bacon butty, lads. <laughs> We were just having a little chat there. I think it makes sense to maybe go up and down and we might even switch it up. We'll see. We, we, we might do a double, if you like. We'll class it as a double now or we might mix it up so we all, we go every alternate or whatever it may be. But the main thing is, as I mentioned, don't want to get my new trainers dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dave switched out his boots for his trainers here so we'll see how, uh, see how they go. So we're going down that, or well, up and down that, yeah. and then that will be half, yeah. come back in, check in here, yeah. and then you go on the second one, oh, and then you get the cross, yeah. So you feel good? Yeah. yeah. Feel proper. Yeah. Boom. Well. Cheers, thanks very much. Let's go! <laughs> so this ascent now, we've got like a, kind of like zigzagging, very steep, so we're taking it nice and steady. So there we are where we started at the bottom. You can see the low level cloud that we're coming into shortly. We're just nearing the top of this first bit of a climb. Just straight into it on this one though. It's not too bad though. But we'll see what it's like when we just get over the top. I have done this when I did my Sky Barrow Dodd video in the winter. I did come up with exactly the same route. Don't remember it too well though. That's a major nasty part of the ascent. Now we're wiggling our way up. And then remember it just steadily climbs I think all the way to the top of Sticks Pass. The nice thing about this part of the ascent is you're kind of sheltered in between the mountains of Tuck, so forget the rain, you don't get as much of the wind down here. So by the end of this, up and down, up and down, we'll have done more than the thousand meters that they want, but they'd rather us do more than risk not hitting the, uh, the true height of Everest by the end. Right, me and Dave have been walking for a bit, and this is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the turnaround part. We'll go on this side of it so we know we've done it. But that is a quarter. <laughs> so now it's straight back. It's a little bit more it's a little bit more distance than you than we first anticipated. Should get a picture. A little bit more distance, but it's definitely better than the other route. However, we've got to go there back, there back. So I think what we're gonna do is when we get down, see how Dave's knee is, and then it might make sense for Dave to Miss the next one, one the lads come up, then pick up the one after and so you know, so on. Because uh, we've just got to do eight of these rather than thinking, oh, we've got four twos to do each. I'll come straight back up again. 
<laughs> well done, Dave. Me and Dave getting down from our first one. Yeah. There he is. So, smashed it coming down, took it steady, about an hour and 50 for, that's like a half, it's not even class of the full one that, but uh, I'm gonna go back up now with Al, I think. Gotta be careful, Dave's legs feeling it a little bit, so we just took our time coming down, but it's not two hours up and down, but if it was two hours and we've got eight legs, it's eight hours, so we'd be done for like half past seven tonight anyway, so it's all good. We're enjoying it, so I'm just waiting with Andy now, I'm just waiting for Al to come up and then me and Al will go up. So with me and Al come up, I've done my two today, and we're all kind of level now. I think I'll have done an extra half. I you did all right there? Amazing. You did good? Yeah, surviving. I'm, just, I'm in survival mode. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling now? A nice relaxed or...? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is relaxed. My legs are to, like anything but relaxed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so tight. The good news is, this is definitely better than before. Is it? Yeah, you've, you've got that steep section, which you already know. Yeah, Take yeah. your time, and then it, it levels out, and it's pretty steady. Is it? Oh, oh, there's a little bit that goes... I'm looking at yeah. the it, yeah, out bit. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah it, is, it is further than you think, but it's uh, yeah, it's all right. And, and uh, you're sheltered from the weather a little bit between oh, yeah. the hills, so a bit misty and a little bit rainy, but no, nothing uh, nothing to note. Right, let's end this for now, and I'll pick it back up when Al turns up. Right, listen, don't be slowing me down. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Dream team. This is it. Let's bash on, mate. <laughs> yeah. Don't start running here. Hey. <laughs> you know what? It feels better like thinking, oh, I'm doing a double, but I'm not. I'm doing a, I've not even done a one yet. So, yeah, well, <laughs> so it's, not it's quite nice much. having it in halves now, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of a, a change of the dynamic of it all. There is, and, and uh, once we've done this, apart from you now, you will have all done the same, apart from you've done an extra. Yeah. Quarter, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I, I think it's just a case of between three of us mainly, we'll just keep alternating all, all and then and then throwing Dave in every now and yeah, then when exactly, he does. Yeah. Plenty uh, of time. You seem a bit overdressed. Massively. I feel like I've turned up at a party without a suit on and I should have a suit on. <laughs> oh, li listen, if I had. Yeah, in hindsight, I would just have a t shirt on, but it is what it is. Yeah. So I'll probably have to lose a little bit of stuff, like now, because it's going to get too hot. <laughs> it's pretty warm, though, and it's mild. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler up there with the rain, but. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Leah, yeah. let me take some shit off. You've got my backpack with me. Yeah, go and get it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Carry on, I'll catch you up. Okay, 100%. And he will catch me up. But we don't need to rush. Tell Al that, though. <laughs> no, the idea of all this as well is to push yourself, isn't it? Get without, out of your comfort zones like we all have in our own ways. Al's obviously as fit as a butcher's dog, he's a fellow runner, so for him it's it's a lot easier, but he's feeling it on his knees from yesterday, but he pushed, pushed, pushed. There's a lot of people, I've just seen the board up there now, and somebody is on their last half, and they've done, they've done, they've done all nine. Unbelievable, so they'll finish, they must have gone right through the night. Some achievement that. Right, let me uh, put the camera away, same as before, up. Up, there. up and up and up we go. Steady all the way. Al in front, killing it as ever. I haven't stopped yet. Just keep going, and you, as you see from mine and Dave's ascent, it's a lot claggier now, a lot more misted in. The ground already is a lot boggier just from the second time, so with all the footfall, you know. I don't know if everyone's still in it. We started out with 100, so I guess 80 people up and down gonna get boggier and boggier so as you see lovely 360 views of the same old clag it's raining but it's all right if it stays like this it's soaking you through it's very it's very like i say it's very wet rain if you know what i mean it my is. jacket's already soaked through i can feel it, it but very wet rain very wet rain feeling it but we're at the top now we can see the hilleberg solo they were setting up before which is a good feeling. I'm going to pull my socks up, literally. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're going to have a little, have a bit of a jog down. It's quite steady coming down there. It's not too bad. But I think we've done well. We've made a good, good pace all the way up. We haven't stopped. And yeah, we're enjoying it. But just heard Al say before, say before, the great thing is, all the people you meet along the way, you know, everyone's enjoying it. Everyone's smiling as much as he can. Uh, I'll follow Al. <laughs> and here we are again. 
So that's my second. And then we've just got to get down. So I'm just going to try and get my socks up a little bit now. Because I've got waterproof socks on, they're sagging a little bit and it's annoying. I'm not going to be able to run down. And then cover myself up a little bit. And away we go. Hopefully you can see with all the rain. Cheers off to these guys. We've got to stay up here for the whole thing to help people out in case they're struggling. Really, really enjoying it. So we're going to get down now and it looks like Al will be coming back up with uh, with Andy. Hopefully Andy's ready when we get down. So let me sort my socks out so we can get cracking. If you come up a mountain with Al, this is what you have to do coming down. It's a bleeding nightmare. <laughs> no, it's good. All these little runs you do though, if you can hear me, this takes up like, this saves like 20 minutes, half an hour, easy. Which means we finish that little bit earlier. I know the lens is really wet, but Al, oh, Al left me for dead. We stayed together for a while and then on the, as soon as it got to the grassy bits, I had to let him go. I've, I've got no grip in my shoes. He's got proper trail runners. I've got trail runners, but he's got like thick treads. I've got no grip in the wet, wet and muddy. So I'm taking it a little bit easy coming down now. But I've ran down to, we're at the section, which is the top of the initial climb that you come up. And I've been going for an hour and three minutes. Made up quite a bit of time with, with Al there. See, I've got the legs in me to run more, but I'm just struggling. Look at the ground. It's very slippery, very boggy. So you've got to be careful. My poles keep sticking in the ground. Um, yeah, and what the last thing I want to do is slip backwards and bang my head. So taking it easy. But when I get the opportunities on a few steps and things, I'll motor on down. But when you get this low, you're below the haze. We're out of the rain and it becomes quite enjoyable again. And you can see where we've got to go down that hill. You're probably sick of the sight of this gate like me. Been through this a fair few times, but this is the last little bit now. Little bit of twisty bit before we get to the little path and we get back to the uh, the start again. How are you doing? Cramping up? Cramping or sore? Are you on your way up or down? And we've been having plenty of fluid as well. Yeah. Electrolytes. Yeah. Yeah, get your legs in those in those things, get all the lactic acid out and see how you go. All right, good luck. I was ready to go. Who's he with? He's with Andy. Here he is. I had to slow down on a bit because I was struggling with grip. Absolutely. My legs felt great for running though, but it was a bit slippy slidey coming down. I'll tell you what, you did well at that top. You kept with me all the way there. <laughs> yeah. when it got steep that you started struggling. That's yeah, it was, it was grip. Yeah. yeah. As soon as it got to the slidey bit, I was like, yeah. I slid a couple of times and thought, no, boom. Yeah, so let's... Uh, Check in, number 19. Yeah. Right, let's go, number four. Right, so on the new route now, it's just really, really steep. Oh, it's like, I was having problems with my quads, but now my calves are on fire. So, just trying to do like a tempo pace. Try and keep up with Al, the big man. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Hopefully, it'll flatten off soon. I'm coming. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really, really impressed with this event. Just look at this when you come back in. So I've come into the tent. There's a few snacks and food here. And this isn't even lunch. Lunch will be served properly in a little bit. This is just, you can just grab what you want, when you want. So we've got fruit, crisps. This is like a nice sauce with all your little dips, peppers, some coronation chicken wrap, sausage rolls, look at this, potatoes, soup. So I'm just going to sit down, cram some of this down, we'll see the lads come down, and then we've got lunch, back up again, but evening meal later, yeah, food and facilities are absolutely fantastic here, well, well worth it. It's lovely and warm in here as well, toasty, it's going to be hard to leave here. And everyone here just having a little relax after they've got down. See you down there, mate. 200 yards and you're there. Good, good, good. I'll see you at bottom. <laughs> He's a different breed, he is. Look at him already, crazy. So that's 3.5 for me, 6.5 for the team. It's uh, oh, tough conditions up here. Gonna put the camera away, get a bit of a jog on, see if I can get down a lot quicker than it took to get up. I'll just come back to the tent to get my dry robe. This, this is one of the best decisions I made bringing this. They're so good to keep warm. Obviously these can get wet on the outside, 
nice and toasty. Dave is just getting himself ship shopping in shape, ready for another ascent. <laughs> Look at him. He's loving it. So Dave's going to do one more and then see how it is. We're, we're not too sure what to do on the last one, whether it all to still go together or maybe we just get it get it boxed off. But certainly at the end, we'll all get together and um, get a nice video. The great thing about this is you, there, there's a... Um, there's a there's a there's a link that you can follow and you can see where every single person is on the hill. So it's really really good to see how people are doing and to follow on. There they all are. It's getting muddier and muddier as well. But the end is in sight. Maybe a few more laps up there for us to complete. It's that time again. Lunch time. So let's have a little look. What we've got. These ladies have been cooking away. The last couple of days. <laughs> they're just eating, they're not even doing anything. And what have we got today? Chili and rice. Oh, look at that. Meatballs, got everything. Quiche. Jacket potatoes, quiche. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Oh, exactly, just what we need. Well, I'll have a little bit of rice and Jeez. chili and a couple of meatballs, please. <laughs> cheese on top. Ooh, cheese on top as well, why not? Basically, Al's just got down, just seeing him, he's soaked, he's ran ahead of Andy, Andy's on his way. Dave's getting ready now, and obviously he'll have to go straight back up with Andy again. I think Al could do with a little bit more rest as well now, so I think when they go up and down, us two will head back up, but it's getting a bit wet and a bit miserable now. Oh, I got up here a little bit too late, he's back. Yes! Sorry, I just, sorry I didn't get to greet you over the finish, I was... I was getting some food and rushed up. How did you find it? Wetter than a knot's pocket. <laughs> no, I'm saying my carbs are tight on the way up and my quads are tight on the way down. It's hard, isn't it, when you... Flaggy. Yeah, it's when you get to the open bit, it's it's awful, isn't it, all misted yeah. in. When me and Dave got up there this morning, it was more open. A bit rain at the top and then it was clagged in and it's getting muddy as well, isn't it? I've got like an ear full of rainwater constantly, so I can't hear out of my right ear. Are you warm enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you run her down at all or not? Only at the um, smoother top bit. Yeah, it's a bit, very then, slippery then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then my legs were screaming. Yeah. Absolutely smashed it. Andy and Dave are down. Smashed it. The weather, woo! It's sunny now, so I've got me in my jacket. I've just gone down to my t-shirt and shorts. Now I've got an up down, <laughs> up down with Bushman. Great. All good to go? I'm Do you know what? I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't find my water bottle, I've had to buy one. Yeah, right. Have you got your watch set up? Oh, no, I've not. It's but all it'll... about Strava, mate. All yeah. about Strava. <laughs> Wait for GPS. Come on then, lads. Let's have it, yeah? Let's have it, he said. Don't tell him that. Don't encourage him anymore, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Just be mixing up who we go with. I've been with you all the time. The fastest one is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good yeah. fun though. Here it is once again. Yeah, oh. just gonna enjoy these two. Tough up and down, up and down now. Let's do it though, mate. <laughs> yeah, we're enjoying it, aren't we? Yes. Smile still on our faces. <laughs> oh, a bit of sun as well. My Get legs smiling now. <laughs> no. <laughs> My quads are completely gone now. <laughs> I am gonna wake up tomorrow like just. I won't be able to walk to the toilet. Like, hey yeah. up. These are the times when at home I live in a bungalow, so I can appreciate it. Yeah, I think I need to buy a bungalow. <laughs> bit blustery, I don't know if you can hear it. The winds are howling. Woo. Third ascent of the day. Maybe one more to go, I'm not sure yet. Looking at Al's ass all the way up, <laughs> stuck behind him. <laughs> Whew. Well, we haven't done much filming up to this one. It is windy, but <laughs> so me and Al have made it. This is our second together today, and we might do another one up and down now. So we're going to get a photo, and then we're going to jog this down. But look at the weather on the horizon. We just want to get down before that. Do one more. We're going to find out where we're up to. But let's get a picture. Smashing it. Smashing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! No! Don't do it! <laughs> Beat the bushman down. <laughs> yes! Fucking have it! <laughs> Beat him down! <laughs> Woo! 
Great <laughs> job, it's done, mate. <laughs> I can't go back. I'm you sick. absolutely did me there, mate. Well done. Oh, no, sick. You absolutely nailed that. <laughs> <laughs> one, one hour eleven. That's good, isn't it? Well, nah. mate. Well done, guys. One sixteen before. Hey, five minutes. Honestly, you completely nailed that. <laughs> you really did. Yes. As a team, as a team, you've got fifty-eight. Four more. Four. Sit down. Yeah. Right, we've just got down there and saw the lads. We found out the update. We've got one. We've got two more up and downs. So guess who I'm with? Three guesses. <laughs> so we're going up again, oh, nice and chilled on this one because it's our last one. And then when we come down, Dave and Andy, they get to the top and it's done. And when we come down, we can all have a little celebrate and chill together, but. And beer. And beer, a few beers. But the weather's changed a little bit this one. It's a bit cooler. And uh, that rundown's probably done me now. <laughs> I'll tell bit, I can't. <laughs> I am impressed. I enjoy, I enjoy I that impressed. coming down. <laughs> and again, and I'm not I'm not even racing. It's just nice to push at the end. It was it was good. Not but, racing. No. Uh, you had one eye back of your head, mate. <laughs> Keep an eye on me. I know I, you were. I thought at the end, I thought he's going to come past me here. But <laughs> yeah, you know that's the one thing about this. It, it, it ain't a race. And hundred percent, you've had the fastest time. Two hours seems like an injustice for that first one because this first climb right up here. He had to do as well. He'd have done it in an hour and close to an hour and twenty, I would say. What the whole loop? Yeah, the official full loop. I if you'd if you'd have gone yeah. off from here, maybe one twenty-five. Yeah, which is yeah, it's incredible. So he would have had the fastest time. He was the first one down, even though he went up in the third wave. So incredible, got us off to a really good start. Right, I'm gonna stop waffling and get my poles out. I'm feeling it already. <laughs> I really apologise, there's not much filming on this last bit. Oh, my last ascent here is killing me. The weather's turning, the wind's picking up, we've got a little bit of rain. You look ahead where, <laughs> where Al is, it's windy as hell just as you get on top of this here, buffeting. I just can't wait to get to the top this one last time. I don't know if I'll be running down. Cramp is impending, I just really don't want it. I'm gonna have another energy gel, I'm trying to drink water, keep things going. Jacket might have to go on, because there's definitely rain coming in over the hills now, just over rays. Oh, I've got all that to go yet. We've had a really good chat up here, stuff the filming. We've got up here, chat's got us through it, and look, if I ever, if I never see this corner again, <laughs> I am done, done with this view. <laughs> they get round it, so we've done it. <laughs> this is it, mate. We've made well it. Well done. Our final ascent, and now we can chill out. Yeah. Get back down there. Do you know what? I do feel for Dave and Andy because the weather is turning. We're going to get down just before the shizzle comes in, I think. These lads have been amazing. Sat up here freezing, here yeah. to support everyone. Well done, boys. <laughs> really good effort. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. You, yeah. Have, you, you have just beaten the weather, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be back down there with a cup of tea. Right, we're going to get a picture and then we're going to get down. See you at the bottom. Well, here we go again. You're literally there now. It's a few minutes. Well done. Oh, it's recording now, is it? Yeah, yeah. Put the start. I best say something really inspiring <laughs> then. It's like, <laughs> my legs hurt. I just want to get home now. I need my mum to give me a hug. Yeah, I'll just say dead quick. Every time I had to come up with Al, I was thinking, oh God, because he's fast. He's been the best person to come up and down with because he's pushed. We pushed each other a little bit as well. Obviously, it's hard to keep up with him at times, but <laughs> it's been really good and the best thing for the team i think as well i've really enjoyed it it has been awesome mate i've thoroughly enjoyed running with you mate well, that's the thing it's like you you walk pound your way up like any sort of endurance event you generally walk the uphills and then jog where you can so if you can jog the flats and downs then great so it has been awesome mate i've thoroughly thoroughly <laughs> enjoyed have. it
this is the I think the best thing about this event is with with each other. It, it, I've, I've really really enjoyed it. I hope, these two, I hope these two are waiting to set off now. Yeah, because <laughs> this is it. We're actually walking in now. Good luck, mate. Good luck. The final Let's home yeah, spray. Yeah, this last lap bit of it. Hey, well done, yeah. chaps. <laughs> Stop your watch. Nice <laughs> yeah. Boom. Look, we're all together Thanks. again, and these two have got last one to do for the team. No, no, oh. no they calculated it wrong. There's one, another one after this. There's not. <laughs> You'd be going back up again. I am not going up again. Uh, well done, mate. Well done. I'm not into well hitting done. people, but I nearly. Yeah, no, that's been nice, on it? Nice Good it. Yeah. Absolutely oh, yeah. nailed it, mate. I am glad that's over. I must admit, I found that harder going up, but we managed that's to it. run down again. But yeah. It's windy up there. He, they, they got a text for you five right. minutes ago saying it's just deteriorated up there. Yeah, but I think so. you're just at the right time to get up and down before any rain. It was a little bit, it was all right. <laughs> Watches. Watches. Let's get on with it. Come right. on, Dave. Come on, Good Dave. luck. Good luck. Come on, lad. Bring, bring yeah, bring it, bring home the bacon. <laughs> we'll try not to be too pissed. No, do you know what? We'll be, we'll be waiting here for you with some beers <laughs> when you get down. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Get running then. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so me and Dave were on our very, very last ascent. And this is it, bringing it home for the team. So just had a little stop, taking the views in for one last time because the clag is coming. Broken the back of the last descent now. The steep stuff's out the way. Hopefully we can enjoy the last little shallow bit of climbing. That's it then. Apex Everest 2024. Me and Dave have brought it home for the team. I believe it, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing team effort. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, one experience been absolutely brilliant. So that... Really tough. Sorry, really tough. <laughs> really, really tough. <laughs> now we can take our own time descending because the finish of the challenge is right there. I'll tell you what, it's getting blustery now. Just at the finish line. Al's on the other side, down there, down there behind, and we're just waiting for Alan Dave to come back. It is blowing a hoolie. So they've done, they must have done really well. It's going to have been tough coming down there, but they're literally probably minutes away. So we can't wait. Look, got a little beer for them. We're all going to have a little beer now, crack a beer, and just say well done to everyone. Everyone's done really, really well. Come on, lads, bring it home. Yes, boys, come on. Well done! Yes, boy! Yes, boy! Well done! Yes, no, bring it in, bring it in, well done! Sorry, sorry, well done Dave, well done, how was that? Well done, yeah, well done. Tough up there, I bet. Well done. Yeah, it's been great, it's been great. Thanks for all your help. Very strong, thank you very much. Oh, it's been amazing. Guys, wait. Let's get it together. Boys, get yourselves together. Come on, boys. <laughs> 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 beer, give me the beer. Give me the beer. <laughs> yeah, get, get in there. Have you got one? Yeah, yeah, I've got one. Wait. We've all got one. Let's get these opened up. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Yay! Yay. Boys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Let's go. Well done. Awesome. Oh, yes. Well, so it is. Okay. Right, here we go down the line. How are you? Congratulations. Just, uh, thank you very much. Challenge. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you very much. We'll be given later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Congratulations on your, on your finishing your, in your challenge. Yeah, your finishing medal will come. Oh, uh, lovely. Now, thank you very yeah, much. Please. Awesome. How are the thighs feeling now? Loosened up enough? <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> Getting stiff up there. It's been superb. Absolutely superb. Loved everything. Yeah. I just want to say this has been such a well organised event for your first event as well. You wouldn't be anything to change the food, the facilities. 
it's been brilliant, hasn't it? Yeah, the hot showers, don't yeah. change them. Don't change the hot showers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I love that one, there. Where's it? Yeah, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, top. Awesome. All smiles as well. Oh, it's been brilliant. Superb. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, let's get, let's get a picture. Let's get inside and have a nice still. Oh, my And welcome to our closing ceremony. Before, I know we're probably kind of keen to get away and away and never see Hell Bellin again for some of you. It's been, it's been a tough, tough 48 hours. I'd just like to say a very special kind of thank you to a few people uh, and then invite you to kind of finish this up. But as we've always said, this is about you guys and everyone in here, whether you finished or you didn't finish, whether you did nine summits or one summit, you're all, we're all together here, everyone. Home. <laughs> right, the morning after the night before, all got up this morning, we're all feeling all right, a few weary legs, and we've just had the uh, the ceremony there, which was fantastic. Everyone celebrated, we've even got a finishes medal for hitting the top. I just want to say, it's been amazing, what a team, what a great bunch of lads. The event was really well put on, we've had a blast, it's been hard work, and um, I made really good friendships here, we've just had chats and banter all the way up and down. And, it, and it's really made it. So I want to say personally, thanks to you guys for agreeing to take part in the event as well. Yeah, it's been Chris. absolutely epic, the whole lot. And it's a pleasure, a pleasure spending time with you a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, again for, for quite solo hikers, for all come together on this, it's been, been brilliant. And it was the best way to do it as well. I, I couldn't do what these guys do, who've gone up and down nine times on their own. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. Really enjoyed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Stay tuned for next year. <laughs> we may we may do more, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <Cheers>. Peace. <laughs>